That's all they're going to do. And then the next thing you know, the next piece comes out. The next piece comes out. Everybody knows that the development that's happening where the Whole Foods and Senior Complex is going to go is going to impact what happens on the rest of the site. Not to mention the fact that all of it is valuable land. The toxic land is as valuable to the urban residents of the Greater Bay Area because of the possibility of learning how well to remediate soil as the arable land is. Because if we're going to grow food um, in the Greater East Bay, we're going to need to we're going to need to know how to take better care of our soil. This is there's a there's a uh, devil's bargain here that's being played out. The, the the UC has been doing this over and over again, where they're holding a community over a barrel with um, with big promises and and uh, we're going to do this or we're going to give you that. They owe it to you already. They are one of the major economic drivers of the entire region. They owe the city of Albany ball fields. They owe the city of Albany open space. And they owe the people of the Greater East Bay a Center for Urban Agroecology. And there's a simple thing that you can do right now to, um, to put, put this forward. I heard the guy at the beginning say that the university has made commitments. Um, I heard the, um, the university rep uh, representative say the university has made commitments to work with the community on uh, community garden, gardening and urban ag. Make them permanently protect the land. Call for it. The permanent protection for, the, for um, sustainable urban agroecology. We, we, that's what you want. If you, that's what everybody here has asked for except for the one person who I ceded my time to. And, um, or my spot too. Um, that's what the people of Albany want. That's what the people of the Greater East Bay want. And that's a simple thing that you can expect from them. You got other commitments from them. That's a simple commitment you can get from them. And put the whole thing on hold till you get that. You have, you're facing the potential for major backlash from the whole of the community, not just the, the residents of Albany. And most importantly, you're here to actually represent. You're not here to decide, you're here to represent. You were elected to represent. And until the folks who are for this thing want to organize every city council meeting to show up in droves, and they want to take over that site and start building the building, or do whatever it is that they want to do to prove that they represent the broadest interests of the city of Albany, they should do what we're doing, which is showing up as a community into the public forum and presenting the concerns. You cannot, in good conscience today, suggest that it is the opinion of the greater interest of the city of Albany and the residents of Albany to see this project go through. That, that would be, that's unconscionable for you to suggest that, given that the public forum space is the legitimate space for people to come and tell you what they think. So I encourage you, if nothing else, to put aside what you think, you think and do what everybody else thinks and not approve this thing. Woo!